All right, time to open up the phones and say good morning to Eric the Midget, a first caller up. He is a controversial figure. A lot of people say they don't want to hear Eric on the show anymore, but I want to hear him. Go ahead, Eric. Good morning. I'm good morning. calling to demand an apology from from Natalie and also you. Well, I say you never disappoint. Eric the Midget. Uh, uh, Eric the Midget. Uh, uh. Erica Midget, Erica Midget, Erica Midget. Uh, uh, let me tell you something nice about me. I want to butt fuck Catherine McPhee. I want to come in her stupid fucking date. She's so nice. I fucked her father's hat. Uh, 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 McPhee. Uh, 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 fuck me. Uh, 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 uh butt fuck. Uh, 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 I'm sick of this shit. I want to fuck that bitch. That's the last thing you will see from Eric the Midget. Uh-uh. Do you think I could demand an apology from Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Many times. All right, go ahead. You demand first, and then I'll demand. I demand an apology for, you know, from Natalie finally to get her ass on the air and apologize. Okay. And then I'll say, from you for that whole real doll shit. By the way, do you know any good actors that know how to measure? Oh, yeah, there was a big controversy. Uh, that comedian who came down and measured Eric, they, yeah. they were like, well, he's a comedian. He can't really be measuring Eric. Well, no, he measured Eric, and we're having the real doll made. Why would I apologize for that? Who cares? We got the measurement. He's a fucking actor that probably doesn't even fucking really work for that company. Well, you didn't want the doll anyway. What do you care? What do you care if we get the measurement right? <laughs> now you all of a sudden you care? This is silly, Eric. Yeah, really. You should root for us to get it wrong so it looks nothing like you when we're fucking it in the ass. It's a good point. Artie's making sense. Think about I, have it. It. I have a feeling that whole thing is just not but a bit to piss me off, which it has. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Perceptive. <laughs> And then you're sitting there lying to your whole audience. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big liar. <laughs> we had a guy in here who measured your head. I don't have to tell you what uh, what he does also. Yeah. He was here to measure your head. Let's you think, say again, Eric, we do a show. Yeah, this is a comedy show. Do you think someone can make a good enough living just measuring people for the real doll? No, he's a freelance <laughs> measurer, yeah. part-time comedian. So I, what? What do you care? Probably has another business. Quite frankly, I could have measured you. How hard is it to measure your head? <laughs> he's not an official measurer from the company. The guy has a few careers. I mean, this is America. The company's some guy's basement where he sits there and makes those plastic dolls that people fuck. What do you think? He's got an operation? Yeah, he's got, a, he's got, yeah, he's got people He's all not even a, a measurer from the real dog company. <laughs> it's not like we, the CEO of Pepsi. With the... God only knows what's doing in the basement at the real dog company. Exactly. I think there's real girls in there and they just vulcanize them. I think we're going to see a yellow tape around that house pretty soon. <laughs> I don't understand. The guy who measured my head was a comedian. Actors <laughs> <laughs> who can measure. It's fake. I, 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 I guarantee you if I emailed that company, they probably wouldn't have even known who that fucker was. Well, Eric. Uh, 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 guys, they said send us the measurement. He's the all. guy the Howard Stern show had measure you. That's why the, the guy will pick up the phone. There's no official measurer. So we said to the guy, measure Eric. Give you something to do. He goes, okay, I'll measure him. <laughs> Eric's upset. I have He's a, not a real representative. He's not a real measurer. <laughs> what do you think they have a guy who measures? He's First also. Think about it. When they make real dolls, they don't really make them <laughs> based, on, based people. on people. So why would they hire a measurer full time? Yeah, they can't. They can't employ a full time measurer. The guy's also in the chorus of Wicked. <laughs> he did us a favor. He usually sleeps in the morning. I just said he's our official measurer. Mm. And he is. If we ever You're have more... the only one who fell for it, actually. Yeah, if we ever have any more measurements to take, I'm going to get that guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now, I don't have any measurements. <laughs> I'll measure your stupidity. I think you're the stupid one here. No, no. offense. I don't think so. What do you care who way... measures you? By the way, hypocrite, this is why I want an <laughs> apology out of you also. You think that all my other friends are you know, friends with me because... Or for money reason. You don't have any money. Why would I think you, that? You make <laughs> money off me. No one else does. <laughs> well, I'm making a fortune off you. Keep it up, Eric. 
I'll get a lawyer. I got to tell you, Eric, I can't believe the millions I'm making off of you. <laughs> From what I hear, my Howard TV episode is the highest one this month. That is true. That's money in your pocket, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you. If we took that off, the number two show would become number one. And by the way, trust me, if if it wasn't number one, I wouldn't have you on the air anymore. A lot of people fed up with you. <laughs> but subscribers didn't go up because we had an Eric no. the Midget show. No. I mean, they just, whoever was on there said, okay, I'll watch Eric the Midget. <laughs> Eric, Eric thought he had you. Take your money over that, ah, fucker. I like that we're arguing about the guy who measured his head. <laughs> he he goes, wants an apology. I heard he's a actor. <laughs> well, who do you mind getting to get to measure your head? How Think about it. How dare you have an actor measure him? No, I, I went to the um, I went to Harvard and asked. Do you have any good graduates who are into measuring? <laughs> who have like a measuring career ahead of them? Do you have anyone with eyesight and working arms? <laughs> a measurer. How would they be at a measurer? <laughs> Think about the real doll business. They have three prototypes. They got three different girls: a blonde, a redhead, and a brunette. I think they all look alike, just have yeah. different hair. It's all the same girl. Why would they have to measure anyone? They don't get a lot of a custom built off, you know. You know how fast they'd be out of business if they employed a full time measurer? That would just be that would just be a bloated company, right? You know there. who would do that? Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's a dumb businessman. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure the real deal of company is this one guy. Because I know, like, when you order a real doll, it takes, like, three or four months for him to create it. I'm sure there's one guy and there's a pit with that might have someone in it. <laughs> <laughs> and a crocodile they feed him to. <laughs> and a dog. And some lotion. A lot of empty bottles of lotion. Eric, you busted me. You're right. The measurer was not really from the real doll company. Are you going to apologize? No. <laughs> you said that uh, he really... I mean, who, where am I going to find a guy to measure Eric? Instead of apologizing, we're going to continue to laugh. <laughs> And, Eric, I don't know who told you to wear a baseball hat on screen, but he or she was right, because that head of yours, Jesus, mm. that doesn't stop going that far. Ahead. Look at that. Man. Yeah, neither does your waist. Well, put the fucking hat back on, and I wear a shirt, don't I? All right, look at this. <laughs> Eric DeMidge sent an email expressing his desire for several apologies. Here, here's what it says. All right. Eric is still angry with Natalie Maines of the Dixie Chicks. Because she claims his bunny ranch whores, Haley and Cherry, were the only ones, were only with him for plugs. That's his main beef. He also claims Natalie humiliated him and has, and has hurt his relationship with Johnny Frado. And Johnny will now only take his calls if Eric calls him the high commander. Oh, stop it. He also has a list of demands. He wants Natalie to help get him a part on Heroes which Natalie's husband is on. Right. He wants help writing songs because his song writing partner sucked big time, he claims. Who is he, Michael Jackson? He wants vocal lessons from Natalie over the phone. And he wants Natalie to agree to it that at least one of his songs will be top number one country billboard hit. What does that mean? How could she... How could she... Well, she's had that success. But how does he... How, how could she claim that one of his songs was number one? I guess he'll... Have her keep writing until something like that happens. Right. Eric, I believe that's a no on everything. Yeah, I think that uh, we could pretty much say forget it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't get you any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you want a Howard Stern shirt or something? We don't even have that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Eric says that Howard Stern show acts like they are the only people in the world who care about him and like him. And he wants us to know that it's not true. All right. We don't care about you or like you. Eric's list of demands for Howard. Howard has to get Eric on whatever show he wants to be on. <laughs> Howard has to help Eric find a publisher for his children's book. Oh, That's uh, Dougie the Wuggy. Yeah. Dougie the Puggy. Dougie the Puggy. And Howard has to admit he was full of shit about the Eric the Midget <laughs> real doll. <laughs> no, they're, they're going to make the real doll of you. I'm not full of shit. I don't fucking think so. Well, wait till well, you see wait. in here. Wait, I'll get it. And then will you apologize to me? I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does happen, will you apologize to me? I guess I'll say yes because I don't see it happening. Okay. And you know what we're going to that doll. You know, it we're putting takes on... months to make it, by the way. <laughs> you know what we're putting on top of that too? Uh, that doll in A's hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll fuck it till the A's hat falls off. <laughs> so Eric, that's it. I mean, I don't know. What, I don't know what else you want to say, but uh, there's my answer. I would like to give Eric the opportunity to have sex with his own real doll. 
Now that would make history, Eric. <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. Just you know how many people probably tell Eric to go fuck himself? <laughs> now he can. <laughs> Eric. I think you should consider having sex with your own real dog. You should consider getting a fucking brain. Eric the Midget Man. I fit in a garbage can. I float with balloons to smell McFee's spoon. Eric the Midget Man. Imagine if the real dog gets pregnant. That's wrong. And as a kid, that kid would be your son, your brother. What about doing that, Eric? Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not agreeable to anything. <laughs> You're angry today. Go yeah. think about it. Just because we suggested oh. fucking a doll that's in your likeness. <laughs> Who just got an instant message? You probably. Uh, no, that would be my phone. Uh, you and Robin with those phones. Man, Eric, you're a doofus. Who'd you get an instant message from? Rich. Rich who? From a bunny ranch. What's he got to say? See, that's when those guys contact right. you. When you're on the air. See, they just got a plug. Oh, yep. yeah. Figure things out, Eric. They said, or he said it, I could ask for a blow job or a hand job from Natalie, which you did not read in that email. No, I didn't. I didn't see that there. And you need better glasses. Is it there? You want Natalie Maines to blow you? Yes. Oh, just so you know, that, that sheet that I gave you yeah. is compiled from nine different emails that go on forever. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think she'd blow you. I'm pretty sure. Blow you off. At least a hand job. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a woman who's probably got multi-million dollars and Grammys, Grammys, and has a husband and kids. Just waiting in line to yeah, blow Eric. To blow Eric. Has a failing music career. Red Rock. Right. Has a music career. Yeah. Something has a career. <laughs> all right, Eric, I think we've uh, devoted enough time to this segment. The answer to all of your requests? Is no. <laughs> Big fat no. Oh. Why the fuck is this zero like a, a one zero. sided argument? Where the fuck is she? Who? Natalie. Sleeping. She's, she's, she's busy. I don't know what she's doing. She doesn't care. She's, she's got a life. A, yeah, life. <laughs> Where is she? A one sided argument. Why isn't she at my beck and call? Yeah, it's still like 5 a.m. where she's sleeping. Yeah, she lives in L.A. What She's doing what you should be doing. Sleeping. <laughs> Artie. She's sleeping. You know how it's still time? Yeah. It's 3 a.m. here, not 5. I said like 5. It was an hour and a half off. What's wrong with you, Artie? I mean, you know, I'm like the that, comedy's not pure. I'm like that measurer guy. <laughs> You're not real. You're not an official timesman? You know what? I've been doing too much measuring on the side. It's affecting my real work. You know, Natalie sleeps on an Eric the Midget pillow that she had custom made. How many people know that? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. A little fact I thought I'd throw in. Yeah. Did you, were you aware of that, Eric? No, I was not. Nope. Sleeps on an Eric the Midget pillow. It's in your likeness. She had it custom made. That's true. Her kids pal around with it. Kids are taller than it. Our kids beat it up. The pillowcase is blocky. Has Eric talked to uh, Johnny since he's had to call him the high commander? I, I left him a voicemail that, about this whole situation with Natalie. <laughs> Johnny's just happy to be rid of Eric. I know. High commander. Yeah, you know, I saw Johnny uh, in L.A. Oh, did you? I did. He came to one of my signings with his little son. He's got a cute little son. And uh, Johnny was walking around and... Uh, we didn't even bring up Eric. I think Johnny's having a fine life without him. <laughs> you mean somehow Johnny's getting along without Eric? Yeah. Wow. All right, Eric. Uh, not from what I heard. Uh, one time he did talk to me. He did say that he brought you up or brought me up to you. No, he's lying. All right, we'll see. I'll have see if he'll call in and correct you on that. Okay. All right, I got to get over to Gary the retard, Eric. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I want that apology out of Natalie by tomorrow. Wait, what do you want? Guy the retard uh, is eating yeah. his own shit. We have to get to him. What is it, Ralph? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear what the consequence is if uh, Natalie. Yeah, what happens to Natalie if she doesn't give you an apology? Ralph's making a very good point. 
Making a demand. What happens if she... <laughs> Not sure at the moment, but I'm sure I could come up with something. Well, Eric, you really should have your ducks in a row when you, <laughs> when you yell at demands to people. You're going to threaten someone. you got to have the whole thing thought out. Right. The consequence. I'll try to think of a way to humiliate her. Go on a hunger strike. Humiliate her. Uh, Eric, know how to spell much? This is a girl who flew across the country to see you, and you're you're, you're trying to humiliate her. I know. No. That's Eric. Dope. Doesn't even realize who his friends Mm are. And Natalie uh, took on the President of the United States. And Eric. She's not scared of you. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. (laughs) Yeah, right. Well, she better get ready to make nice. She's going to roll over her foot. To use one of their song titles. You're the only one who knows one of their song titles. I mean, we even knew that was a song. Right, I mean, they, when we like her. What's the name of her song? Not ready to make nice. <laughs> oh. Wait, Natalie's on the phone. <laughs> now we're going to get some action. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Natalie. Hi, Howard. It's Natalie. Hi. Hi. Now, Eric wants an apology from you. I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry. And, Eric, I have a deal for you. I, I will blow you, but on one condition. What is the condition, Natalie? I'm going to stand across the room, and if you walk to me, I'll blow you. <laughs> All right. Eric, what do you think of that? Richard, you are such a retarded hick. This is Natalie. I don't. Who's this Richard character? I'll blow you, Eric. Come on, you just gotta walk to me. That's generous. Come on, I'll put that five-inch uh, midget cock right in my mouth. <laughs> wow, Natalie. What about your husband, Adrian Pazdar, the star uh, of Heroes? He's a big Eric fan. He'll be jacking off in the corner. He, oh, okay. he won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> your husband's gonna jack off in the corner. Yeah. yeah. All over Eric's wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Eric, that sounds like fun. All right, Eric, you got a goal. Generous offer. Come on, Eric, you better start practicing. Talk dirty to Eric and see if he likes it, Natalie. Mm, Eric, I can't wait to have that little midget cock writhing around in my mouth and hitting my teeth and mm, <laughs> the little midget head of your cock. It's going to be what do you think of that, Eric? my throat. Get me hard. What do you think, Eric? I'll spit on it, too. <laughs> Richard, go back to the back room with your boyfriend, Sal, and do that. I, Eric, I have a cold. I sound a little different today. You do sound a little different. Yeah. I'm not, even I admit that. A little under the weather. But... Natalie, to prove it's uh, you, could you sing a little bit of your hit, I'm Not Ready to Make Nice Now? I'm not ready to make nice. Mm. That's her. <laughs> it's me. It's her. No one else knows that song. Yeah, I know the lyrics. All right, thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Al. All right, Eric, there's your offer from Natalie. Love you, Eric. Whatever, Richard. Uh, I'll let, hey, I'll let you put it in my poop shoot, too. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> thank you. All right, offering her asshole. <laughs> look, at, look at Eric's forehead. Look. Asshole and uh, uh, Jaina. I'm going to put a little Vaseline on the tip of Eric's head. Drop it in my asshole. All right, Eric, there you go. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank right. you. Right. All right, Eric, making demands about Natalie Maine. Exciting morning so far on the show.